This week on Open Falls Training, we've got a hardware review. Hey folks, I uh, know it's been a little bit since the last video. Um, the Indiegogo campaign is wrapped up. I'm working on gathering everything together. Um, gotten the new hardware in. And during this whole process of trying to get hardware, one of the things I've been looking for is a way to be able to capture... Um, video inputs from other devices, specifically HDMI input from other devices. So that way I can show a computer booting up from the beginning all the way to the end. And as you can see right over here on the screen, I've got a little picture of a little device. And what it is, is it's the IVS Imaging's USB or HDMI to USB UVC converter. What it is, looks like a very fat thumb drive. We've got a USB port on one end, HDMI input on the other. And what this does, plugs into your computer, you plug HDMI into it, and it makes any HDMI source look like a webcam, basically. And this is great on Linux. It lets you take any device, plug it right in, and just be able to use it in various different ways. Whether it be capturing footage from a video game, capturing footage from a system. You know, if you're someone who's creating videos like I am, if you want to stream video to the internet... If you want to, you know, create a video showing your friends, hey, how I did this awesome thing, you know, in a video game, a device like this is going to get you there. And under Linux, and here's IVS's website to kind of show you what it looks like. Um, under Linux, this can be kind of a problematic thing sometimes. You know, you've got a lot of proprietary devices with proprietary drivers. So you're kind of at the mercy of the hardware vendor to make sure it's going to work for you. You know, on the low end, there's a lot of things that just do not work with Linux. You know, there, there are some things that work on that are community supported, but HDMI is kind of a problematic thing on the low end. On the high end, there's a lot of things out there. But under, you know, a couple hundred dollars, few hundred dollars, you're kind of hurting. And this is a USB, you know, UVC device really just a UVC device. And what that means is universe or USB video class. Now, what this means is it follows a certain specification written for the USB standard to prevent or to present video to a system. So because this is a class compliant device, follows the UVC standard, it's just plug and play under Linux. In fact, let's uh, kind of flash over here because I want to show you stuff live, show it actually working. Here is one of them I've got plugged into this system. Recording video live so you can see what's going on right now on another system. I mean, I can reach over here and get, you know, things going and get it doing something. And as you can see and possibly hear, I'm kind of clicking on the keyboard. Now, I will say, because of my recording method, there's kind of a bit of a lag in things. I do not think it's this device's fault. It's my setup, so don't take that for too much. Um, and what's really fun is, I can actually do this, I can actually switch these live going to uh, unplug the other computer and power up another device here. Hopefully everything will go fine and I didn't mess something up. And here we have a Raspberry Pi Model 2 booting up into a system called Laka. Now, I just, that was just kind of plug and play right up and going. This device has, you know, a couple, has very little on it. I, I actually really love the fact of how 
um, minimal it is. But there's a couple lights on here. And those lights tell you a few things. If you have a single red light, if I'm looking at everything right, that means it's picking up content at 1280 by 720. And it pulls that content really well. You know, um, I've noticed no real problems under that. If it has a single green light, it's recording at 1920 by 1080. You know, this, you know, your standard 1080p video. This works really well. 1080p doesn't quite work as well as the 720 content. And that's a limitation of USB 2. Not a limitation of the device so much, but the bus, you know, it's using for communication. At least I think. Um, so, really great. You know, really great, works really well. Um, it does not deal with HDCP. So if you're dealing with a protected video stream, so basically we're talking things that, you know, like a Blu-ray player, this isn't going to work with that unless you do some workarounds. So this device on its own, not going to get you there. But... If you're a person who has a need to capture HDMI sources that are unprotected, if you're someone doing online training sessions for other people, creating videos to show people how to do things, if you just want to show off to your friends, if you want to record your latest greatest escapade in a video game and you know, throw it up on YouTube so the world can see, this device is going to get you there and under Linux since it's just you know USB class compliant device plug it in you are ready to rock it is a V it shows up um, as a webcam like I said there's plenty of software under Linux that works with webcams so you know with V4L or, yeah with um, V4L2 under Linux which is video for Linux, you know, to this device is going to do a really awesome job for you to be able to, you know, plug it in and capture your sources. You know, there's not a lot of players in this market under the, you know, $300 range. If you want something, a lot of cases that going to be able to do this, you're going to spend a lot of money typically, but here is a device, very inexpensive, relatively speaking, to be able to get you to go, get you going. Now, in all of this, I should have said earlier, and I apologize, I'm kind of new to some of, you know, to doing review videos, but IVS Imaging sent me this as a demo unit so I could test it specifically under Linux. Right there alone, I tip my hat to IVS Imaging. There are not many companies when you contact them and say, hey, I'm a Linux user. I want a you know, demo of this so I can test it out and see that it works. That you know, The person you contact goes, that sounds interesting. I'm in. So you know, the gentleman I spoke to over there, uh, Jay Fields, very nice gentleman. If you're interested in this device, be sure to contact IVS Imaging and try to get in contact with him. Um, really great guy. And it seems like a really great company. I've got to say, if you have a need to capture HDMI sources for your videos for whatever reason, this is definitely a device I think I can recommend. As long as you pay attention to the caveat, like I said, that 1080p video content, you're not going to get 30 frames per second out of it. You're getting about 15, but depending on what you're doing, how you're doing it, 15 frames per second is still great. And as you can see from you know the demo up here, the quality is really, really good. 
I'm showing, you know, 1280 by 720 content stretched to, you know, 1920 by 1080. So that's a little bit of what you're seeing there in the MO image, but otherwise, you know, great image, very usable. No doubts in my mind that if you have a need for this, this is the dev this is a device for you and IVS imaging is the source to get it. So, with all that said, you know, I want to thank you for taking the time to, you know, watch this review, hear my thoughts on it. I'd love to hear your feedback. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. The links will be, you know, right about here on where you can get this if you want one and, you know, link to the company's website. Before we go, I cannot forget to, you know, thank everyone who has helped back the, you know, Indiegogo campaign that managed to get us to where we are now. There's more content in the pipeline, but, you know, these people helped, you know, get me to where I am now. You know, I've got a new machine that I'm using, testing, getting things going. So soon, more content will be on the way. So, until next time, I've been Matthew, Lord Drakenblut Williams, and we will catch you on the flip side.